Please welcome the lovely Lindsay Sloan, everybody. Lindsay Sloan. Now, listen, you, have you done much. something with your hair? You seem a little different. No, I mean, it's in a ponytail. I don't know what you're talking wow. about. Yeah, I you went blonde. Color. I did. Wow. We're in a very strange business where they make you change your appearance a lot to do certain mm. jobs. So. Not me. <laughs> really? Like, is this for a... This is for a job, yeah. All oh, right. Uh, you're playing yeah. a blonde um, woman? I'm playing, a, I'm playing a neurophysicist, obviously, which is why I was... <laughs> Yeah, I know. No. You're not playing a no. neurophysicist? No. They're, they're neurophysicist. Really? In Hollywood, you think that they would say, like, oh, we need you to play a very intelligent person, so you should go blonde for yes, that. Yes, I no. do. Quite frankly, yeah. You could be making a film in Sweden. Yeah, for, yeah I guess. Right? I guess, and but... Swedish people are blonde, clever, and some yeah. enjoy neurophysics. Yeah, no. Which is not even a thing. Neuro, I, I'm neurophysicist. No, it's is not, not a even real. a thing. See, no. This is me, the blonde hair. Like, no. I don't even know. No, no, that's not true. Blonde hair doesn't make you stupid. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. at all. Met, uh, you get a lot more attention from... Uh... I get... Well, I, it's different attention. I mean, I... Well, look, I'm not a person that, like, gets attention from guys when I'm on Really? Down I the find street. that hard to believe. No, no. <laughs> Very sweet, Craig. Thank you. No. But I'm getting attention from a certain demographic that never really paid attention to me before. Much Creepy? older... Older... Creep, creepy... The creepy demographic. My type yeah. of yeah. The yeah. older, yeah. creepy yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. How do you do, creepy gentleman? Well, how do you do, young lady? <laughs> Would you like to see my van? Yeah, it's interesting, though, the things that they say where they think that they're being complimentary or... I don't know. It's this thing where men just start to talk, talk to you and... Do they think that it's like they're, you're going to go home with them? Or yes, they, they do. Yeah? They okay. do think that. There was a guy who followed me to my car to tell me that I look like one of them girls on the hills. So I slept with him. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that's one thing that a woman cannot resist. Being yeah. told she looks like another woman. Another and another woman from, from a reality program. From a reality show. Well, yeah. people come over and you say, Well, you look like Snooky. Uh, yeah. then... One day. No, come on. One day. No. No, I can rock the puff. I can do, I can pull. You know, I was... <laughs> oh. See, Is that something Craig, to in do America, with... the yeah. puff means something different than it may mean in other places. Well, I don't know. I th I, isn't that a, an album by George Michael or something? <laughs> yes. The Puff. Rock the Puff? The, is puff. It the Puff? Is that what it's the called? The Puff is her. The Are you a Jersey Shore fan? I mean... You know, I'm the creepy older gentleman. We kind of So you know, love Jersey Shore. Do we really? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't really do it. Do you? I do. It's a guilty pleasure. I, I find them so entertaining. So, so entertaining. Do you feel affection for these people or are you just judging oh, no, them? No, 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 yes. <laughs> not at all. And it's not even judgment. I mean, I, I can just genuinely watch and enjoy them. It's, it's, it's entertainment and I'm just constantly baffled by the fact that it's reality, that these are real... Well, it's not really reality, though. You know that, right? I mean, people, they make it up. But those are real people. Those aren't actors. Well, actors are real people, too. You just say, put on these clothes and do this thing, and then they do it. And then if you say it to someone, but you don't pay them any money, you call it a reality show, and everyone goes, oh, but it's just the same. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. True. But these people are, like, they stay in character all the time. I mean, like, this is who they are. They go home, and they are, I don't know if that's true. I think probably Snooky goes to home and says, oh, it's so ghastly. Please remove my poof. Dear. Remove it's my so poof, but I must it's bathe. It's so hot you know. in the shore. Yeah. And I bet you that she doesn't even like to be tan. She's actually No, like, she probably wipes no, it, wipes all, it off. all off. She's, she's she pale. As she's as, as pale possible. as a recently slabbed squid. That sounds very appealing. Yeah. <laughs> do you enjoy squid or seafood? Uh, I do. I'm a fan of calamari, but I don't like the, the tentacle. I'm the same. I love a bit of I calamari, like but only... Ring. Yes, I like the hoops, yep. but I don't like the snorkels. Yeah. 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 But... <laughs> yeah. Anything fried, you can't go wrong with fried food. Well, yes, I, I do like fried food, although I, uh, you know, in my old country, they fry candy bars. I am a huge fan of fried candy bars. Oh, you seem to be getting through a lot of them. I... <laughs> 
that was actually like kind of on my bucket list <laughs> of things to do in life was to eat a fried candy bar because I love watching the Food Network and yes, yeah. watching all of them. I how like they that go. guy. Who's that guy that eats the Guy Fieri. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, Andrew Zimmerman. Yeah. Like bizarre Foods. Do you know every time so I watch creepy. that, I think, what must his poo be like? It, or how is he not pooing all the time? I, know. I mean, he eats like, he eats like, today I'm going to eat no, some. I thought of the same thing. Like, does he look. This is disgusting. <laughs> but does he, do you see tentacles? Like, does stuff, because, you know, like, corn doesn't break down. Does a cockroach break down? Do he, yeah, I don't think cockroaches, I think cockroaches actually survive. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, look, no. look. If, if, if a cockroach, theoretically, can survive a nuclear blast, right? Oh, right? And we all know that. Then can surely survive a short trip through the digestive tract of a greedy fat man. Which basically ends in a human nuclear blast. Uh, no. So. <laughs> no, it ends in what cockroaches rather enjoy frolicking in anyway. Oh, I don't want to imagine that. I don't like that at all. Let's get back to fried candy bars. <laughs> well, in a way, we never left them. <laughs> but, all right. No, it's true. It's yes. true. Are you a, are you a cook? Do you like to uh, cook and? Um... Occasionally, I'll I'll, I'll I'll mix it up. I'll get inspired. I the Food Network. I will watch it and then suddenly think I'm Paula Deen and throw a pound and of she's butter big, she's and. She's here, Paula Deen. She's I love lovely. Her. Oh, she's lovely. Does well, she bring you any food? Yes. She, she's, what she oh, make for she you? Oh, she makes chickeny things and butter. Uh, and, oh, it and literally she's so is just lovely. something with butter. And something that she's very she's very happily married and uh, but something extremely sexual oh, about yeah. that woman, don't you think? Su she's she's like oh. Uh, and then she's all she's lovely and friendly and she wants to take care of you yeah I, yes I suppose yeah. and I feel like she like hugs you into her bosom like she's one of those women that's like let me take care of you baby yeah but yeah. but that's see men like that in a different way than ladies <laughs> To be fair, hey, some ladies like some that. Ladies yeah, that you're love, right. I, I've been to San of... Francisco. Yes. I know exactly what you're saying. I in no way want to single out any gender preference sexuality no. area for ridicule. This is a very accepting show. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I feel that the people who are judged harshest on this show are the guests. Yes, I agree. I agree. And occasionally Jeff well, is judged I, pretty I, I like to think that Jeff is still a guest. <laughs> I actually never met Jeff. I was here last time. It was the big build-up to Jeff's arrival. Yeah, no. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now you're looking at the big disappointment after he's been here for a while. Pretend I'm not here. Yeah, I I'm only can't, kidding. Jeff. It's impossible. Oh, well, well there you go. <laughs> He's gay. Sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he, he is gay. Uh, he's gay? Gay robot? I think, I think he's gay. I don't know. His, uh, his genitalia is stuck in customs. So, uh, <laughs> so until we can get his package here and have a look at it, we don't know. Does that make don't you... laugh. It only encourages him. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> that sounds it's awesome awfully painful. Your... It sounds what? really painful. What? To have your genitalia Do... stuck in customs. <laughs> It's not as bad as you'd think. Really? It's happened to me on my travels. Have you traveled the world, Mark? Uh, I have, with my genitalia. I take that with me when I go. Best way to travel, you yeah. know, because you never know when you're going to need you it. Never yeah. Know. Yeah. Never know. Yeah. yeah. Where have you been then? Where's your... Uh, I just went to Italy last year, which nice. was unbelievable. Yeah. Where'd you go? Leaning I, uh, Tower of Pisa? I saw the Pisa. <laughs> I saw the tower, the Leaning Tower from the car. So it was kind of like a drive-by. You didn't oh, even stop? Is. Didn't even stop. No, it was What the hell is quick. wrong with you? I needed to go drink. There was nothing to do around Pisa, so we were driving right on through to get right to Montepulciano and go drink our faces off. <laughs> I didn't want to learn anything. I wasn't yeah, I know, I understand. No, I, I was there I to see. get wasted in Italy. Yeah, I see. <laughs> spring break? Uh, no. It was summer break, which was essentially... It's spring, spring break Spring break in... Italy! Woohoo! Yeah. Well, we're out of time. Oh. Good way to end it. No, no, that's, it. that's it. We're out of time. We, we got we to... Uh, we really did it. Yeah. We, we made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. No, it's been mine. <laughs> I'm sensing some kind of sarcasm. No, no, I really loved every second of being here. Really. You're faking it. Nope. <laughs> Wouldn't do that. Every woman has faked it at some point. <laughs> Not on your show.
Lindsay's load, everybody. <laughs> My first guest tonight stars in Archer on FX and co-hosts The Talk uh, weekday afternoons here on CBS Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> I swear to you from this point on, I will not rest until I find that thing. <laughs> I know that you're a relatively uh, newly minted American, and well, a few years now. This yeah. is uh, this is my welcome to you. Welcome to the United well, States. Well, I love, I love the rapping, and I'm looking forward to the present. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, thank it's, it's you. Lovely. Thank you very much. The yeah. Shoes and the, wow. Good for you. Yeah. 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 You really made a sex tape with your husband? Uh, Oh God, I don't know if you can call it a sex tape. Look, I, it, uh, we can't. We can call it a I sex guess we tape. Can call yeah. it, it was sex and on tape, and it was on tape. By the way, it was still in the days when VHS oh, tapes right. ruled so the land. Like, so. All right, no, 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 no. Yeah, even if you yeah. find it. Yeah, oh yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. we did right. it. Keep excited. Keep excited. We we did it on a MacGyver style yeah. like cassette Woo. tape recorder, Craig. And then like. <laughs> <laughs> but so even if you did find it, you wouldn't be able to find the technology to play it back. Well, I don't know. I'd find a way. I don't know. It's gone. But I. I just, I just think that everybody thinks that they're super hot, and I think that porn professionals are professionals. You know what I mean? That they've taken classes. Uh, <laughs> yes, class. they do. Class is like, they, welcome to Porn University. Now, right? Yes. Let's get this yes. thing. Come and give me 20. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're going to work on uh, jaw musculature. Um, the thing is... <laughs> That it's not as exciting uh, to look back at it as it was to do it. I've ever. always felt that way about sex. That mm -hmm. It's a little bit like, uh, you know, pool or, mm -hmm. uh, you know... Um, Jenga. Yeah, you know, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather be doing it than watching it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, watching it, I'm like, oh, I could do it better. Or did yeah. that what you're thinking? Yeah. I sometimes I, I look at uh, some of those professional uh, film projects and I think, ah. Uh, you watch a lot of those professional Here's films what happens. Projects. You're on the internet and you're reading about, you know, the Kardashians or molecular biology. And Never then you click on the wrong link and all of a sudden it's uh, some, or the somebody. right link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then once you're there, it's, you know, you're just, uh, all right, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Off come the pants. Yeah. <laughs> Can't, can you talk like this at the talk? Can we you? do talk like this at the talk. I know you do, talk. actually, because yeah. I've been on that show a bunch of yeah, times. Yeah, we do. I don't know how you get away with it. You're live. That's what it is. Yeah, right? yeah, but I also think... Uh, we're live, too, obviously. Are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I just think, you know, the whole goal of the show is for everybody to be honest and tell the truth and be themselves. It's remarkably, uh, it's a remarkably honest show. Yeah, it's quite yeah. daring in places. I remember I was on once when Sharon admitted to having an affair with Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> I was yes. like, Sharon, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, and she was like, oh, I feel so bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> And it, it, there were like wide ranging repercussions. There was like, because yeah. they hadn't spoken in a long time. Oh, and then God. there was a detente. They came back together. He sent flowers. Maybe they met in a parking lot. I have no idea. Oh, wow. I have no But they made up. They, it was great. They came back together. Well, good, good for yeah. them then. Yeah. And now, are you still out doing the stand up and stuff? Yeah, all the time. Um, do you wear a dress like that when you do stand up? No, I never do. I look like a man on stage. Baby, yes. you can never look like a man no matter <laughs> what you do. I look like a very feminine. I look a little bit like uh, Lafayette on True Blood when I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what is she? But um, yeah, no, I, all the time. Every, I'm out a couple weekends a month still. I love. Really? I'll yeah, never no, stop. I like I'll it never too, stop yeah. doing it. You got to get out there. You know, you got to stay sharp. Yeah, and I, I think that that's the only thing that I get because I love to. I always go out and do stand up as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But the what I get is when comedians, when you say you you shouldn't say that, man, that's bad. And they're like, yeah, you're messing up my. First Amendment rights. I'm allowed to say it. I'm like, yeah, but you're allowed to say it. I'm just calling you a jerk for saying it. Yes, that's absolutely. A, there are repercussions for saying things. I think that's the point. You have yeah. to be able to take responsibility for.
for everything that comes out of your mouth. You have to be willing to do that. And I don't yeah. think it's fair to say, it was a joke. Well, if it was a good joke, then you would have been Richard Pryor or Chris Rock. Right, right, um, right, right, right. But you're kicking it at the ha ha hole in Poughkeepsie, New York. So, um, <laughs> have you played the ha ha hole? I have played so many ha ha holes. Yeah. Jeff, have you ever played the ha ha hole? Oh, many times. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, there's a tape of it that I made a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, what about what about you doing this show? I heard rumors you were going to do this one. Uh, I'm done. I, I, the internet is rife with rumors in addition baby, to Baby, you'd porn. be great at oh this. Oh, my God. No, Craig, you'd so be sweet. great at it. You'd, well, like, you know, you'd be better than me. No way. Yeah, You're amazing yeah. at this Yeah, show. no, you could get yourself a skeleton, maybe. Oh, no, yeah. Can, 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 can't have that one. Can't have that. No, know, that's you, yours. That's no, me and I'm going to get a foxy. Like in the horse. Yeah. Like a lady skeleton. Get a lady skeleton. Yeah. Lady skeleton. yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I, I've been a comedian for 21 years now. I think any young comic, a job like this is their dream. You know what I mean? It's a dream job. Yeah, you admire young comedians. Uh. <laughs> um, and, I, you know, it would be incredible. I think it would be uh, an amazing gig. I have an amazing gig now that I really yeah, you love. Do. Yeah, you um, do. And, uh, and I have a lot of fun at it. And I love coming here and visiting you. But you know, I think it might be nice because then it would be less people that look like me doing this and more people look like you doing this. Know would, what I mean? It would be nice if late night didn't look like the the, the board meeting uh, at uh, Chevron. You know what I mean? That would be great. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to mix it up. And I'm, I'm really lucky because my job, I've always been, you know, I've always done this. I mean, talk soup and, and you know, it, whose line is it anyway? You know, right. I speak. This is kind of the gig that I do most of the time, which is tell jokes behind a desk, which I've yeah. always loved to do. Um, and right now I tell jokes behind a big table. But, uh, yeah, desk, table, cool. it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. it would be nice to have a lady doing this, I think, for sure. But um, Well, there is sort of a lady doing it now. <laughs> no way, my friend. You are all men. You are all men. Look at God you. God bless you. We'll be right back with Aisha Tyler. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Aisha Tyler. Uh, we'll probably be here a little more often soon. <laughs> I'm just stoking the internet a little bit. There you go, internet. Run with that. <laughs> I love visiting you. You're one of my favorite people in the world. Really? Yes. What about Santa? Um, uh, Santa? Do you believe in Santa? Uh, well, here's what happened. When I was 10 years old, uh -oh. Santa brought me a bicycle, uh -huh. uh, a copy of Little Women, and my parents divorce. So we are not talking anymore. Yeah, we're not talking. <laughs> that what he yeah, said? That was, he was Santa like, brought you this, too. Yeah, exactly. Mommy and Daddy still love you, but they're going to live in separate <laughs> yeah. houses. And I was like, and I get a book? Yeah. I want a plane. Yeah, yeah. well. No, Santa, Santa seems like a nice figment of people's imaginations. No, yeah. come on, man. Yes. That's, that's Do you too... believe in Santa? Yes, I You're do. You're adorable. Not only do I believe in Santa, I have met Santa Claus. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in Vermont. I went to a gas station, and I was... <laughs> And I was with my kids, and uh, there was a guy with a beard. Uh, my oldest boy was really young at the time. It was about January. And, uh, you know, and, uh, he pointed at this guy with a big white beard, and he went, Look, Santa. And I went, So it is. And the guy saw us looking over, and he came over and he went, Yup, it's me. <laughs> Every slightly rotund guy with a beard longer than an inch is rocking that myth all day yeah. long. We had a guy in the audience at the talk the other day. It's like June. And he's like, ho, 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 ho. I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't you have toys to make? <laughs> you drunk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I like the idea of a guy yeah. giving around you know, presents to kids and without just, being creepy about yeah, it. Yeah, and, no. and <laughs> breaking all laws of physics and yeah. travel. Yeah, that all too. All physics. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, so. no. How Uncle sad. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm really excited because I'm actually going to see you next week when, uh, at Comic-Con. Oh, you are? Yes. Yeah. You are moderating the panel for Game of Thrones. Which yeah. I, what Game of Thrones! That music has absolutely nothing to do with Game of Thrones whatsoever. Yeah, but we um, can afford that right. piece of music. <laughs> Which I'm a huge fan of. I've read all the books. I'm right. super excited. I haven't I'm read the books. I, they're going to go. They're, the the audience are going to tear me apart. Oh, no! I've only seen the TV show. You have the accent. They'll love the accent. Okay. Get right in. Um, I'm hosting the Penny Dreadful panel. Nice. Yeah. 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 And um, and uh, 
and doing archer. I'm going to do an archer panel. Yo, and, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, yeah so you'll be like royalty fun. down there, I'm, archer. I'm, well, you know, there's like three black nerds in the world, so people just, we're, we're literally like unicorns. People just click, 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 click. I saw Santa, and then I saw a black nerd. Uh, click, 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 click. click. I click. saw Aisha Tyler. Make a wish, make a wish. <laughs> So we'll have some fun. Yeah, we will. I'll see you down there now. Yeah, it'll be great. All right, then. Aisha yeah. Tyler, everybody. That's what it's like at my house when I get home from work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 Irina Shaik, everybody. Irina Shaik. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Irina. Irina. Yes. Or Irina. Irina. Irina or Irina? Irina. Irina. Is it Russian? Yes. Do you, know, do you know my last name, by the way? Sheikh? Sh do you know my full last name? What is your full last name? Sheikh Lislamova. Sh say that again. Sheikh Lislamova. And one more time? Sheikh Lislamova. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, where are you from in Russia? Uh, well, it's very small village. It's um, in the middle of nowhere, like three hours away from Moscow, mm -hmm. and um, it's very cold there. Mm. But a lot of beautiful women. You mm. have to go. Yeah, I'm, uh, anytime you like, I'm there. I uh, <laughs> I liked Russia very much when I was there. It was lovely. Yeah. I went to Moscow and St. Petersburg. You ever been to St. Petersburg? Yes. Wow, it's lovely there. It's so beautiful. It's so, I was so shocked. It's like Paris. I know. Hmm. <laughs> so, the film Hercules, you play uh, Mrs. Mrs. Her Hercules? Um, uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, I play Megara. Megara Hercules. Uh, Megara. Yes. His wife of Hercules and yes. mother of his children. Right. And, um, yeah. Does something bad happen to you and then he has to uh, wreck the joint? Yeah, kind of. I can't... I don't think it's a spoiler, really. I mean, it's kind of a thing, you know, like, especially early on in the movie, like, he's all happy, and I'm thinking, it's not going to go well, because <laughs> you can't have a movie for, you know, two hours know, with, you know, bad. Dwayne Johnson going, well, everything's cool. You know? Something bad got to happen, so yeah. something bad happened to me. Yeah. But um, I can't give you away, like, all the movies. No, 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 and nor, and nor should you. Hmm? You have to get a ticket and see it. Yes, I, and I will. <laughs> You better. No, I, I'll, be, I'll be there opening night. When is it? Friday? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. yeah. The listen, I've got nothing on until August 7th. So <laughs> I, uh, I'll be 20, there. 2025. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, do you live in Los Angeles now? No, New York. New York. Yeah. Yes. That's, uh, you like it there? I do. New York is, is such a great city to be. Yes, it is. Yeah. Did you ever do any modeling by any chance? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah, see. yeah. Did you do the the runway modeling? Yes. You know, oh, right. Yes. Uh, I I imagine you probably did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Normally I can speak, uh, but not today. Having a bit of a hard time this evening. Don't know what it is. It's kind of hot in this studio. I'm feeling <laughs> a little. Is it hot in here? Well, you're wearing no, th I'm that, wearing so. Uh, wearing so. Yeah. Hi, you just. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I love your blue eyes. I love everything about you. <laughs> I, I'm no and, and and he's gay. Yeah. You know. Uh... Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, so you're in uh, you're in a little. You're in a little uh, village, uh, yeah. a little, uh, you know, two hours away from Moscow. How did you end up in the in the film business then? Well, um, basically it happened out of blue. My sister, I have a sister, older sister, and um, she... Your sister had a sister of a uh, sister? Yeah, I, I do have a sister. I'm uh -huh. sorry you don't ex understand my oh, Russian no, accent because you're a Scottish accent. Yeah, no, it's like, bad, I know. Jeff, can you help me? I have no idea what either one of you are saying. <laughs> Yeah, but nobody cares. It's fine. <laughs> so 
so basically, I do have a sister, and um, uh -huh. she asked me to join her to go to a beauty school, and I went, and one manager from Russia came there and discovered me there, and he asked me if I want to go to Paris, and I say no, oh. but then I changed my mind. Yes. And um, I went to Paris, and that's... You like Paris? I do, I but like I prefer St. Petersburg. You prefer St. Yeah. Petersburg? I think I might, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> So, and then I went to New York and yes. Sports Illustrated discovered me ah. back in 2007. And then, and from that, you did the modeling and then, is this your first, this is your first film? Yes, then? it's a very small role, but it's a very important character for the movie. You're damn straight it is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, uh, Dwayne Johnson has been here. He's a lovely man. He's a terrific fella, but I'm not going to see the movie for him. Thank you. Jeff, what about you? Are you, are you going to see a movie? Oh, yeah. No, I'll be there. I'll be... Hell yeah. yeah he, he and I are going to go together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there you are. That, we're out of time, sadly. <laughs> I can't believe I spent all that time with Regis. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Irina, good luck with the movie. It's lovely Thank to you. meet you. Thank, Thank you, you much. So much. Irina Shag, everybody. Please welcome Jennifer Fields, everybody. All women in the audience. I think that was very well done of you. Well, you know what? I think what happens is I think when the women know that there's someone from the L word is on. No, I think it's for you. No, I think it's for you. No, I think... me, uh, because I'm a little shy. Are you shy? When it comes to talk shows and things, and I really, really didn't want to do any more talk shows, but my publicist sent me some tapes of you, and then I developed a small crush. Oh. And so I thought... I say. <laughs> How and I see many other women have as well. I, I find this, I find this fascinating. So, so the the lesbian thing is all a big act, then. Yes, yeah. yes, right. that's acting. Uh, you, how, it's like no Wiley's not a doctor. No, right, Hannibal uh, Lecter, uh, who is a cannibal, but Anthony Hopkins is, is not, not a cannibal. That's right. right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Did, you, did you even think about that before you took the part as? Uh, playing a, a gay woman, did you think, oh, no, I don't... No, I didn't really think about it. I just, uh, I thought it's a really great part. And when I was researching the role, I mostly focused on the fact that she's a museum director and had to do that research. And then when it came time to do a love scene, I was like, oh, my God, I'm playing a lesbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing something special, I guess. I don't know. See, now, I, when I worked as an actor, I always thought, you know, when you had a love scene with someone, you know, and you always pretend that, ah, it's very technical, there's a lot, you know what people say on talk shows, right. it's very, but it's not. You, you make out with someone. No, you would make out with someone. <laughs> That's your technique. Really? Which, you know, with, with the dancing that you did, I saw that. Oh, that did you like really my, uh, you like the dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think you need to see anyone. See, actually, you know when you look at that, look at that picture of me again, look at that. Oh. Remember? Uh, remember Brian May from Queen? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a bit like Brian May from Queen, I think. Something Queeny about it, anyway. That's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting mercy votes from women now because of the uh, my flash dance thing. Do you get tired of the flash dance? Uh, no, reference? not really. I mean, there's different people bring up different films, and I think that film meant a lot to a lot of people, yeah. so it's fine. See, when I pulled the water down and it splashed on me, yeah, exactly. it was freezing. <laughs> Is that what it was like when Welcome you did Welcome to the club. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Now, so you, you, took the, you took the L word show, you took the... Uh, does L stand for love in this or does it stand for well, lesbian? it stands for many things. All right. But lesbian is definitely one of them. Right. But yes, when I took the show, well, love, I didn't lesbian, really... Love, lesbian, what else? Didn't... Uh, laxative. Laxative, all right. <laughs> yeah, which you can get in Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so the L word stands for love between right. women. Yes. Right. Okay. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yes. Now, where do you make it? Do you do you shoot it here in LA? No, we shoot in Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. How do they How do they feel about all these women making out all over? Well, I'm, I'm 
I'm sure they're very happy to be employed. What? So you have Canadians on your show? Yes. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's good to have Canadians working. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like that. Yeah. I've, no, I've been to Vancouver. I, I like it very much indeed. Do you like it up there? Yeah, I just look at you. You're so cute. I can't even listen oh, to you. Oh, stop. Right. Okay, I'll try to focus now. Right, yeah. Do, yeah. I like Do you want to yes. see the flash, flash yeah. dance thing again? <laughs> That'll temper it for you. Yes, I like, we'll get back. I'll, I'll focus now. All yes. right, focus. I like yeah. Vancouver. I spend a lot of fun times in Vancouver. You don't even, you know, you don't seem shy to me at all. I am. I am. You, you are very shy. You yes. shy? Well, why, I've heard the actors talk about this before. Why would you take a job like an actor if you're shy? When people are going to look at you all the time. Well, you get to pretend that you're someone else, and then you pretend that you're someone who's not shy. And then it works out. Why don't you just pretend you're someone who's not shy and work in a bank? Yeah. Well, because you'd only get to be the bank teller, whereas right. then I get to play lots of people. You could, but no I could one change would... jobs all the time. You think? Yeah, yeah, and you could pretend every day you go to work. You could pretend to be something else. Like one day you could pretend to be a lesbian, and then <laughs> you could be a lesbian bank teller. Then but you see, could the be... problem is, is then you, it's very hard to work out any aggression. Like my character Bet on the L word is quite aggressive, and she gets angry very easily, and yeah, right. and you can't really do that so much in real life because you'll get hurt or someone will start screaming back at you. Yeah. So. I always like that about acting that you could win arguments. I know, I uh, love yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And that's that and you walk out and people go, because hmm. in real life that doesn't happen. No. You know, uh, they follow you and go, wait a minute. And you go, no, no, I was done. I said my thing. In fact, all this season, it's just a horrible season for my character. I lose every fight. It's just horrible. I, I suffer terribly until later on the, in the show when there's one episode where I win one argument. And I read the script and I was so happy. I just started crying. I was like, something good happens to Beth. Something good happens to Beth. Do you think, do you think that I... Uh, do you think that women in same-sex relationships argue more than men and women? Or they argue about different things? I mean, did you research this? No. You didn't research other lesbians. Not other lesbians, I mean lesbians. You didn't, you didn't research it. You didn't go talking to any lesbians? No, because I, f I felt that really the relationship was about love. And, right, it's you about know, a relationship. You love somebody. And, I mean, it's true in the scenes we do fight a little bit differently. It's lower. The blows are much lower. A lower. Lower, yeah. Like dirty, dirty fighting. Mean. Women don't fight dirty. Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah now, I'll do. talk to you more about that. We've got to take a break. We'll be right back with Jennifer Bales, everybody. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with Jennifer Bales, star of The L Word on Showtime. And um, what about... I heard, I read this, I don't know if it's true, that you, you've been over to uh, Scotland, is that right? Have you been there to the old country where I'm from? I've been to Scotland a long time ago. Did you have a nice time? Were they nice to you? Yes, they were very nice to me. I went with my boyfriend and... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> No, lot, my, lots of people my, go to Scotland with their boyfriends. It's all right. <laughs> and the thing that I remember most is that uh, we had a romantic interlude in a field. Let me just, let me just stop you. A romantic interlude? Yes. Right. So you... Uh, yes. Completely? Yes. A complete wow. romantic interlude in a field. That's, that's illegal in Scotland. <laughs> Even if you're married. <laughs> <laughs> so what, so you had so, a little romantic yes, interlude in the field? Yes, we had a romantic interlude in the field, and I remember um, having a post-romantic interlude sleep in nice. the field. And I remember waking up to um, these big pair of Wellington boots, you know, those big yes. rain boots sort of things. Was your boyfriend wearing them? No. Oh. It was the farmer whose field it was. Ah. Ah. And he started screaming at us in a language that I knew was English, but I couldn't understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you were in Scotland, all right. Yeah. Uh, now, was, did you have your clothes on? I had um, had the common sense to put my clothes back on, but my boyfriend had not, so he was... Fallen asleep naked in a field? <laughs> he was That's a homeless a person. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're an adventure. You know, I'm going to refer you something, to something you said earlier to me, that you're a very shy person. Well, uh, you know, I wouldn't have a romantic interlude in a field with, you know, a crowd. Were there, were there any sheep in the field? No. All right. In Scotland, there's a lot of sheep, you know. And, uh, I and they look at you with that judgmental eye. 
What are you doing? No, I think it was an agricultural crop. It was an agricultural yes. crop that was growing. <laughs> Boy, I so wish I'd had some of those carrots. Uh, no, no, I don't. I think no. taller. Ta taller? What was it? Oh, it was tall. Know. Wheat. Perhaps. I don't know if they grow wheat in Scotland. We'll say they do. <laughs> banana trees. It's probably <laughs> banana trees. Lots of banana trees in Scotland. So what do you do now when you're, when you're not working in Vancouver? How do you relax? How do you take time out? I sleep a lot. Nice. And, um, Fields or at home? No, at home. <laughs> at home. And I've been taking a Sanskrit class. Sanskrit? I know, you're going to make a joke about it. I'm not going to make a joke about it. I'm fascinated. Why would you want to learn Sanskrit? Uh, well, when I... Um, it's an Indian language, right? Yes, it's an right. ancient, ancient... Ancient Indian language. language. When you go to yoga class, sometimes you chant different mantras or things. Right. And they're in Sanskrit, so I thought I, maybe it's a good idea that I know what I'm saying. <laughs> so. well, and what are you saying? Things like, oh, I'm stretching. Oh, oh this really hurts. Like, is that what it is? <laughs> What, what did he say? I mean, I, I have heard the namaste, all that, right, but right. What, uh, what does that mean? Namaste means that I, I salute uh, the God within you, or I salute, you know, it, in a way it's the I-thou relationship. The I-thou. We are both right. the same. Well, that's and rather we're nice. both gods. <laughs> I know, my teacher is going to kill me on Thursday. Right, because that's, that's not true. That's not true, right, okay. Yeah. What else have you learned in Sanskrit? I've learned to say the vowels. Oh, really? Can you say, can you say words like fart in Sanskrit? No. <laughs> That's the words Nor I first go to. When I learn a language, I go straight to fart. No, I, I've learned uh, the letters, how to say the letters, and, and because it's the philosophy of Sanskrit as a class, you're sort of uh, learning the linguistic cosmogony of, you know. Linguistic okay. cosmogony is something that I rush toward whenever <laughs> I get a chance. You're an enchanting woman. Good luck with the L word. Thank you for coming in. Jennifer Beals, everybody. L word season premiere this Sunday on Showtime. We'll be right back with David Crumholt. <laughs> you can't cut it out there. Play keep playing it. Please welcome Jennifer Beals, everybody. Jen, are you all right? Are you all right? I know you're very nervous about talk shows. I always... I uh, yeah. Are you okay, though? I'm, I'm okay. You look I'm sensational. Trying. I love your purple frock. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. And, and the movie looks very, very frightening. It's very creepy. Is it very creepy? Do you, do you like horror movies? Is that why you did it? I, I love horror movies, um, but I recently had a baby, so my sleep is at a premium, so I don't really watch them very much anymore. Yeah. But I thought the best way to um, really uh, be part of a horror movie and take part in all the great things that a horror movie has to offer is to be in it. Yeah, so yeah. I could perpetrate the horror. So and get over the fear. That's what yeah, I always think. Is, that's why I want to be in a zombie film because I'm very frightened of zombies. <laughs> it's why we, our, build, our studio is so high up. Uh, <laughs> so that zombies can't come in, in the win window. Yeah, I know it's kind of lame. But... <laughs> Did you, did you have a nice time making this film? Do you, I mean, because I think it'd be great fun making a horror picture. I had a great time. Yeah. Doing all that scary looks at everybody and the all that. The big eyes. Because yeah. it, it's part of the Japanese tradition. They yeah, yeah. have the big, like, kabuki eyes. Big kabuki eyes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't know what kabuki is, and, <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, wait, you're still doing the L word, is Ella? Are you up in Vancouver? Yes. I'm I like Vancouver. I love Vancouver. I was in Vancouver when I got this job. I, I was heard, there. I heard. I heard you made a little road trip. I did. Have you ever driven the road trip Vancouver oh, to LA? Yes. Yes. You have? Oh, I did. The, well, I've driven Vancouver to LA, but I had a very memorable um, trip from LA to Vancouver when my daughter was five weeks old. We took a road trip from L.A. to Vancouver so I could get to work. We have two big dogs. You took who a, were in the a five-week-old baby and two dogs on okay, a road trip? Okay, I, I... Why none of my friends performed an intervention? I have uh, no idea. Yeah, really? I hold that against them. How long did it take? Like four weeks? An eternity. Yeah. An eternity. Because you'd have to stop all the time. Yeah, you stop all the time, and then you feed for like an hour, and the dogs then have to go out, and... Oh, the, oh, the you're feed, wrangling yeah. wrangling the dogs. Can't you drive and, and feed at the same time? <laughs> Hey, it's called the Britney Spears. You just... Oh. What? 
it's all right. all right. It's all right. You can get special attachments. <laughs> no, that's that's not nice. Well, couldn't your couldn't your husband drive up then? Well, yeah, but I'm in the back with the baby. Well, you can feed on the move. Have you? Well, but see, I wasn't that experienced yet. Now I could feed on Oh, move. yeah. But at I'm... that time, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, because it is difficult. No one, I, I remember that when my son was born, his mother was kind of like, what? That way, how did this work? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of a, so what age is, uh, is it a son, daughter, you have? A daughter. She daughter? just turned a year. Oh, well, congratulations. That's lovely. Yeah. That's nice. And, I, and, and so you go up to, are you staying up in Vancouver all the time? I like Vancouver, you see, that's why I'm pushing on it. I think it's a lovely town. It's really beautiful. We're up there it's for Canadian, about... Canadian, you know, it's Canada. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard tell. Yeah. They speak English. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, they walk around with their bacon and their maple <laughs> syrup. They're delightful. <laughs> Endless hockey games. There is hockey. Do you like the hockey? Yeah, I love hockey. Really? Yeah. Well, it's fun. I, I like the sound of it. I like the excitement. I like playoff hockey. It's the best. What, 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 why? Because it's faster and there's more I violence? Just like, I just like the, the cold of the ice and the sound. You of actually the go to the game, you don't watch it on TV while you're, you know, feeding. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> actually, you know, you're joking, but my daughter I'm loves not joking. to watch hockey. Your daughter watches yeah, hockey at one years it. old? Yes. Earlier, when she was like two months old, she loved yeah. hockey. Maybe yeah. it was the black and white field. Maybe thing. it's the noise. No, as well, well but yeah. some, I don't know. We didn't always have the noise up that high. Well, you, do you, what about Teletubbies until she can break her in a little bit? <laughs> Start with the Teletubbies. Maybe, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> then you can go to the full-on brutal violence of men with sticks. <laughs> Such a suggestion. Hey. I'm just saying. Maybe after the baby Einsteins. After the baby Einsteins. Oh, I like the baby Einsteins. Have yeah, you got they're the, fun. Ah, they're good. Yeah, I still watch them I like the own. signing ones. Yeah. What's that? I like the ones where they sign. They sign? Yeah, yeah can Marley you sign? Can, can you sign? Are you a good signer? A little bit. Yeah, I can do a little bit too. Yeah. But I've, I think I've forgotten most of it. Well, I'm know. not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really nice. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jennifer Fields, everybody. Good night, sweetie. Tina, it was a really, it was a really nice night. It felt really good to be together and getting along. She really she loved the sleigh ride. <laughs> so did I. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Jennifer Beals. That, that was a clip from the L Word, which is the you know the big feel good lesbian comedy, isn't it? It's, uh... <laughs> It's just about human relationships, isn't it? It's just yes. that it happens to be girls making out as well. That's it's right. It's great kind of, show. Yeah. It's like if on Sex in the City, the women had actually slept with each other. Right. Which would be, I think, really entertaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More entertaining than all that talk about shoes anyway, I tell you that. <laughs> That's how you get men to watch Sex in the City and the girls make out with each other. I'm there! <laughs> It's fantastic. Now, didn't you? I, haven't you been making another movie as well? The, the, or was it The Grudge too? The, the the horror movie. You go. Do you made it in Japan? Or? Yeah, yeah. We went to Tokyo. And really? Baby came with us. Do you take the whole family there? Yes. Did my you mom drive? Came with me. No, we didn't drive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe rode over. I no, we'll just row. The baby's almost six weeks old. <laughs> be fine. What could go wrong? We'll just get her a little life vest. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. fine. No, so you took the baby. What age was the baby when you went over uh, to Japan? Let's see. She was five, five months. Well, that's nice. That's yeah. all right. I don't know anything about Japan. Did, have you, had you been there before? I had been there before, and, and my mother came with us, and my mother speaks Japanese, so. Really? How does that happen? Is your mother Japanese? No, my mother's not Japanese, but she went to go take a Spanish class. The Spanish class was full. Uh -huh. The only room left was in the Japanese class, so that's she started great. taking Japanese. But do you speak any Japanese? Um, I, I did learn to um, sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star in Japanese. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, and, and how does it go? Because I forget. <laughs> kira, kira, hikaru, yozora no hoshi yo. 